We have figured out through happenstance that I am in fact two-wheel drive. More on that later. which is a brand new renaissance fair here in Louisiana that started last year. It had its inaugural festival last year. And they run from late January into early February. I meant to get out there earlier this year. It just didn't work out. So we are going today, which is the final day to see it at least once because we really want to support this festival and help it get up and running. Because I think more renaissance festivals helps everybody have one that works out for their schedule, for wherever they're located, whatever the case may be. And it helps the vendors and the performers who travel from festival to festival to have more options to make a living and, and make a better living. We are heading out there today. I'm not fully in what I'm going to be wearing, but I also don't really have the wardrobe to get decked out in period and, and festival appropriate attire every time we go. This final weekend is Mardi Gras themed because it is the closest weekend to actual Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is on the 21st. Today's the 12th, so it's a little bit off. It's like a week off, but it's Mardi Gras season, so it still works. So I've gone with, you know, the purple tartan shirt and the green top. I was gonna wear like a dress and layer some green fishnets over some purple tights, but the purple tights are too tight on my legs now. So scrapped that and just went with comfort over aesthetic today. I still am like layering a bunch of gold jewelry though. So I'm still gonna have all of the Mardi Gras colors. My tires were low, so he is outside filling them now. Acadiana Renaissance Fet is currently being hosted in the city of Opelousas, which is, if you know Louisiana or you know interstates, it's on I-49, not quite an hour. It's a little ways north of Lafayette. From Baton Rouge, we can either take I-10 west to Lafayette and then take I-49 north to Opelousas, or you can get on 190 straight shot to Opelousas and not worry about the corner of Lafayette up to 49. So that's what we're doing. We're going to take 190 to avoid the I-10 traffic. We're going to make up and everything until we get there. But yeah, my tire is below, so he's filling those up now because we've got about an hour drive ahead of us. I am munching a protein bar and we're probably going to get more substantial food on the way there. But yeah, this is what we're working with now. Get in the shot. Here we go. Here new boots. Currently, they are set up a bunch of tents in Hayfield, which is fine. I'm kind of fine with a smaller event anyway. I know our friend Alaria is out there, so it'll be good to see her. I think the Whiskey Bay Rovers are also out there. I'm gonna be damn sure that I film enough to make a vlog for this because I think it's stuff like this that helps smaller events get traction. And this is why I wish I had gone earlier in the year, but we're here now and we'll do what we can. Let's go make something out of it. It's like 11 a.m. by the way. It's not super, super early or anything right now. We could not be bothered to get up early after playing Pathfinder last night, so. He's done with the tire, so we're gonna hit the road. So we are here. We are currently walking into the festival proper. I'm having to look down more than at the camera because it's very muddy out here and I wanna make sure I don't slip. Yeah. And already it seems a lot bigger than it was last year, so this should be good. Go, that one's a good one. So that that was a very big jug face. Yes! <laughs> yes. Okay, you would manage to get roped into taking someone else's photo you as we have in the past. It happens. <laughs> It's quite a yeah. uh, This one is an old tank destroyer regiment from World War II. Uh, this is a good friend. <laughs> Oh, 
what you think. Even though I am a pirate queen, we'll win this fair and square. Is the line balanced? Yes. Wait a minute. What does the loser have to do? It's two out of three. Chicken dance. Chicken dance. It's the line. It's time. It is about 4 o'clock, 4.15, I think, at this point. Rovers are getting ready to perform again, which is what you hear behind me is them gearing up for that. I think I'm gonna take a quick walk to see the last few tents that I haven't looked into yet, but it's been a wonderful day. They had a huge tug of war in the mud, which was really fun. Y'all will have seen clips of that. I picked out a wand, I'll show that off later. I'll show off anything we purchase later when we get home. But it's been wonderful for a last day, and we heard some great things about things that are in the works for next year's festival, which will be scheduled a little bit earlier into January actually so that they'll hopefully not be contesting with all of the Mardi Gras festivals and parades as much and they'll have a bigger turnout so let's go look at some of those other tents <laughs> to the car. This was a lovely day, a good final day for this festival. It's good to see that this one has already had so much growth in terms of attendance and, and vendors and such, and I'm excited to see what they do next year. But we are heading to the car so that we can make the hour trip home, and I will show you all the couple of things that we have acquired once we get home. We are home. It is the following day. We were so tired when we got home. It is now Monday and I need to show you the couple of goodies that we got at the Renaissance Fete yesterday. First off is this large candle from Handcrafted by Heathens. It's one of their Nine Worlds lotion candles. It's completely made of soy wax, so you can actually use it as a lotion while the wax is still melted. Just, you know, be careful, obviously, because melted wax can be quite hot. But they have several of these candles inside inspired by the Nine Realms of the Yggdrasil Tree. And this one is Muspelheim, which is the world of the fire giants. So it is tobacco and cedar. They list it as having a 40 hour burn time, so that's wonderful. And it's in this, you know, hand carved wooden candle holder. And there is the actual candle. And I know you can't smell it through the screen, but it does smell very, very nice. I'm looking forward to that. We also got two of these little leather dragon eye key rings. I forget what the price for a single was initially, but he did us a deal since it was the final day of getting two for 25, which was very kind of him. This was from the Thistle Room. They make teas. It wasn't bath bombs, it was bath fizzies. Same concept, just not quite in the big ball shape. Lots of hand worked leather pieces, bracelets, keychains of various sizes, jewelry, all sorts of beautiful things. I got some tea from them last year and that has been lovely. So this is one of the two that we got. I really liked this darker leather with the purple and pink eye. And we also got a silver one with a green eye for Chris, which represents his character Dags. And lastly, from a shop called Custom Mary, I will put all of the information for these shops and various of the vendors in the description, by the way. But it's this lovely lovely wand that was handmade. She goes out and finds the wood herself and then the smoky quartz atop. She called this the dark goddess wand and it is an earth aligned wand which is perfect because like half of my chart is earth signs. She was very 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 sweet the woman who sold me this. So yeah I'm excited to attune this to me and my craft and work with it in future. And we also had purchased a bottle of mead but we drank that while we were there yesterday. But yeah it's one Wonderful. I do wish I had had more funds to buy more things from more of the vendors because I really wanted to support everybody, but we will just, you know, hopefully have a better situation next year to actually be able to support people and camp on site on the new grounds and everything. So yeah, this was this was a really great Renaissance festival and I can't wait for next year. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Huge thankful shout out to my coven of patrons. You make every day of my life a 
festival. Stay tuned for my, should be my Disney World vlogs next. I think I said that in the wreath video, but I didn't realize that this video would end up coming in first. And I will see you all next time. Keep in mind my loves. Mwah.